nice round. Although you had problems with your balance on that last jump. Uh, it's you, Phil. So, what are you doing here? Come to practice for the rally. Oh, well, you're wasting your time. The saddle club's gonna kick Cross County's butt. Not with that balance. <laughs> See ya. We've got to win this rally. If Phil beats us, I'm gonna die. Stevie, you always say that. Yeah, well, this time I mean it. We've got to win tomorrow. And if you do, you be on the cover. Thoroughly hoarse. No. You're kidding. I made a proposal to the editor, and they want to feature Pine Hollow in the next edition. And the winner will be on the front cover. Wonderful colour, glossy paper, names in big print this high. <laughs> Veronica will be kicking herself she's on holiday. <gasps> cover of Thoroughly Horace, she'll know. <sighs> yep, you're right. Can you believe it? Just the best horse magazine in the country. Picture this. Every rider in the country looking at us, wishing they were us. What's my best profile? More importantly, what are we gonna wear? Hello? Who cares what you look like? Well, you do. Didn't you get a total makeover when you went out with Phil? <laughs> but that was about boys. This is about riding. Seriously, guys, what's my best side? Right or left? What's my best side? My best hair? My best? Huh? I've got something on my face. Is it a hive? That's no hive. It's a pimple. What? I've got a pimple? Supposed to meet Drew at 10:30. So let's meet at 10, okay? No, not okay. okay. Here I am with a major disaster on my hands, and you two don't even care. <sighs> Stevie, it's just a pimple. How can you say that? What am I going to do? I can't let Phil see me like this. But I thought you didn't care about looks. That was before I had a giant growth on my face. <laughs> I think you're overreacting. It's not like it'll be there forever. But I need it gone by tomorrow. There must be something I can do. Well, there is one thing. Medicine won't work overnight, so try mind over matter. Think the pimple away. Are you kidding? <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but they've done studies on this. Positive thinking works. What? It's not like you've got anything to lose. Okay, what do we do? Start with close your eyes. Now concentrate on positive things. Try to get a mental image in your head. I'm not seeing anything. Think about winning the rally. Picture everyone cheering. Picture someone handing you the trophy. Go on. Um, picture Thoroughly Horse with us on the cover. That's not a good mental image. <laughs> then don't think about that. Think about the blue ribbon on Belle. Think about how good you'll feel. Think about beating Phil. <laughs> okay, I've had just about enough positive thinking for one day. See you guys tomorrow. <sighs> Must be important for Veronica to be sending email while she's on holiday. Chris Bloom, we can't lose. Who's Chris Bloom? He's regional champ. Veronica teed him up because she can't compete herself. Saddle club, eat your heart out. Veronica's pretty smart, isn't she? Mm. Well, when it comes to squishing the saddle club, Veronica doesn't miss a trick. And is that within the rules? Mm-hmm. Veronica's checked. She's always one step ahead. 
Hey, what are you guys doing tomorrow? Why do you ask? Well, I like riding and stuff, but getting the horse and tack ready? Ew. I could make it worth your while. How much worth our while? You're a bit scary sometimes, Melanie. OK. If your team wins, we get mentioned in Thoroughly Horse. What as? Oh, as your managers? <laughs> managers? That's fair. We'll organise everything and you can relax. We're great organisers. I can see that. Thank you. Bye. That was Thoroughly Horse. Not only have we got the cover, we've also got a centre spread. Well done, Deborah. You guys have done excellent work. This is really going to put Pine Hollow on the map. That was Deborah's old journalism contacts that did the trick. <clears throat> and so, what did the affiliation say when they heard about our rally tomorrow? Affiliation? I don't think they know, do they? Uh, do they have to know? Every event has to be notified. I'm sorry, I didn't realise. And they need copies of all the entry forms? What entry forms? I'll fix it. Looking for a way when I struggle through the day. Oh, so slowly. And nothing going right when I know it should be fine. Oh, yeah. When I'm feeling down, my friends are not around. Have you seen Stevie? No, not yet. Why? She rang you this morning. She's totally freaking out about that pimple. <sighs> Isn't that, you know? Wow, you're Chris Bloom, aren't you? I've read all about you in the Thoroughly Horse. That's me. What are you doing at Pine Hollow? Are you one of the judges for the rally? Not exactly. We'd love to stay and chat, but we have to get Chris prepared. Prepared? Are you giving a demonstration ride? No. Nope. He's riding with Danny and Christy. What? Great team, huh? Danny, Christy and Chris Blue. And we're managing them. Come on, Chris. Christy's waiting. Well, good luck out there, guys. May the best riders win. We're dead. <sighs> Christy? I'd like to introduce you to Chris Bloom. Hi. Uh, thank you, Veronica. Stevie. Oh, hi, Deborah. What are you doing? Why are you wearing that scarf? Oh. I know this must seem like the end of the world, but trust me, it isn't. Sure. Sometimes in life you get the good, you get the bad. When you get the bad, you've got to concentrate on the good. There isn't much good to concentrate on right now. Maybe you're just not looking hard enough. You have got the most beautiful hair. <laughs> Why don't you concentrate on that? You might just be surprised. Mm. Beautiful hair, huh? Watch it. You watch it. Ew! What's that on your face? You need to see a doctor. You're just jealous because I've got beautiful hair. Not that anyone can tell under this stupid helmet. There. It's better. Looking for a way to struggle through the day. Let's warm up for the rally bell. Nothing going right when I know it should be.
supposed to wear a helmet. Stevie! Ready for the rally? You bet. I was just, um, giving Bella a run to warm her up. Same here. What's wrong with their chin? Mosquito bite, I think. Hey, where's your helmet? Um... Well, well, well. Riding without a helmet, huh? I wonder what Max would have to say about that. He'd kick you out of Pine Hollow. But I wasn't riding Belle. I was just riding her. Honest. I would never ride without a helmet. What's that on your face? Nothing. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, yeah, very funny. Now it's my turn. Now it's payback time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, no, hey no. guys, the rally starts in 15 minutes. Oh. Chris was just giving me some last minute tips on dressage. Dressage? I don't think so. We've got Bark tacked up. He's all set. I'd better saddle my horse. <laughs> we make a great team, Chris. Can you believe it? He's just so cute. Christy, remember what Dorote always used to say? Focus. And remember Red, your number one fave? Don't you think it means something that we've virtually got the same name? Chris and Christy. Yours starts with a K and he starts with a C. <laughs> Nobody likes a smarty pants, Melanie. And his birthday's in April and mine's in August. C, A and A. He's an Aries and I'm not, but we're just meant for each other. Hey, Christy, focus. What do you think Veronica would say if the Saddle Club won and got their faces on the cover of Thoroughly Horse? That would be a bad thing. A very bad thing. Chris is regional champ. How can we lose? Just don't do anything to spoil his focus. Good morning. I'd like to welcome everyone to Pine Hollow for today's rally. But before we start, I'd like to say a special hello to Thoroughly Horse magazine. I'd also like to welcome the regional champion who will be competing with us today, Mr Chris Bloom. OK, the competition begins.
too. We're never going to beat him. No, I mean, I feel sick, like I'm going to puke. What? Do you want some water or something to eat? Please, don't talk about food. You don't have to do this, Stevie, if you're not feeling well. No, I'm OK. It's just a headache now. I'll be fine. You were all over the place, and you almost ran over the judges. I... I didn't see them. Maybe you should get your eyes checked, Stevie. I think you might need glasses. What? One bad round, and now I need glasses. Well, you said it yourself. You didn't even see the judges. What else could it be? My eyesight is fine. Well, you don't just wake up one day and have problems seeing. If your eyesight is so fine, how do you explain what happened? Carol Hanson to the mounting gate. Good round, Carol. Not good enough if Chris gets another perfect score. Jumping is worth 50% of the final score. We are so on that cover. Let's stay nice and calm. Deep breaths, Christy. something bad to tell you. Shh. Chris is in the ring. You are so gorgeous! Way to go, Chris! Way to go! I can't believe it. He blew it. Thank you, Christy. Gosh, that was bad luck, wasn't it? You made him lose focus, Christy. So juvenile. <sighs> This changes everything. If you get a good score, we could win the event or even the rally. So, what did you want to tell us before? Nothing. Stevie. concussion. Your mother's coming to pick you up. The doctor said that you uh, had a bump on the back of your head. How did you do that? I fell off Bell. But... I wasn't wearing my helmet. Stevie! I know, I know. But I didn't know what to do. I was scared you'd kick me out for riding without a helmet. No one's been kicked out. 
But we will have to have a serious talk about this when you are feeling better. A very serious talk. I thought you knew better. I do. I'll never ride without a helmet again. No, no, that's not what I meant. No matter what happens, Stevie, you can always come to us. That's what we're here for. OK, lecture's over for now. Come on, Deb. We better go and present some trophies. You have some visitors. Are you all right? <sighs> Guys, I'm really sorry. I blew the rally for you. Forget about the rally. We don't care about that. You should have told us what happened. Whatever made you ride without a helmet? You could have really hurt yourself. I know. I know. But I was worried how I looked with that pimple, and well... It's a long story. I think we understand. But Christy's happy, Chris blows his round, and she still wins first prize. Actually... on your chin? No. Phil, how could you get worked up over something so trivial? <laughs> Lisa, you're crying. I know, Steve. <laughs> 